Good morning. Could we dare to imagine that this beautiful weather we're having here is going to last for the whole month of November? That would surely be nice. Anyhow, I am going to work again in the Christmas journals. This is Bev from Art by Bidell. And today I want to create some bottom corner tuck spots. And I want to use my master board for the tuck spots. I had mentioned in a previous video that I was going to go take my all of my master boards and add my poinsettias to them with the stencil and the embossing paste. So I have done that and they are all dry. And now we don't have to wait for them to dry when we decide to do a page. We'll probably have to wait for them to dry for another reason, possibly. Here we have some pieces that I have, and I'll take this journal, and let's see where we might want to add a corner tuck spot. Uh, and I'd like to do it on two sides. So let's choose this, which is some book paper. And I have a piece of that in all three journals, so I'm just going to pull it out now. And we will just make all of these at the same time. Mass production, right guys? And what I want to do is I want it on the inside of each of these and I want it here and here. Then if I use these for a centerpiece in my journal, like a center page, open it up and have it here, I will have a corner tuck spot here and here, and that will look rather, rather nice, I believe. Let's work on this. To make the corner tuck spot, going to just take some of my master board here. Since this is the same width as my journal page, I can just fold it in half and give that a cut. And then decide, I think I'll tear it. I'll tear it for the top down. And that will make that tuck spot. We'll save this for another project. This one I'll need to tear down the other direction. And that'll go there. I think I need to go a little further on the end here. Right there. And that will make a nice sturdy tuck spot. And that's only for one. So let's take and cut ourselves enough for all three of these. And I do believe I will take this to the cutting board to do. I have cut two more strips and they are at four and a half inches wide. So I'm going to do the same thing with them by folding them in half and cutting them. And then tearing them down. The paper apparently was a little longer, so we'll have to compensate for that by tearing before we get to the edge of our paper. That'd be about right. And do this one too. So there's for one more. This in half again. There we have all of our tuck spots created. All right, they need to be inked up around the edge. I'm gonna add just enough glue to hold them in place so that I can take them over to the machine to stitch. And uh, the glue that I'm going to use, hopefully will hold it, is the art glitter. And put that right on the edge of the bottom and the side. Get the other one in place. And then I will stitch the, the right side and the bottom, the bottom and the left side, and then I'll be back. Okay, so before I decide what more I want to add as far as a little collage on these, I want to do the insert. For the inserts, I am going to make journaling cards out of these large, out of the large index cards. So I'll set the page aside and I have these and I want to add some of the napkins, decoupage the napkins to it. Before I can do that, I need to get some spray inks on these, some kind of inks on these. So I'm going to go over and actually I'll bring it here to do. So what I have is the old paper and then the mixture that I mixed up that has, oh, it has a little bit of old paper. It has some mowed lawn that was left over in the jar and it has some vintage photo, I believe. So let's just 
spray these up. It's, that's kind of a nice warm brown. Now, if I take that and I add another index card right on top and kiss them and then pull them apart, you'll get this, see the design, how much better it looks at that point? I like it better. So I'm gonna do that with all of these. Yes, there we go. I have one more to do. Mowed lawn on here. And then kiss them. The more ink you have, the better it is. These are too splotty. So let's fix these ones. Put a little bit more ink on those ones. See if we can get rid of the spots that we created the first time around. That's better. Aren't they pretty? They're just so pretty. So we'll leave those and let's take the heat gun to them and dry them. Now I want to add a little bit of red to each of these. I'm going to take my fired brick and the poinsettia stencil and put some red on the background. Some of this will show through in the end, some won't. There, that looks good. There, I have the stenciling done. Now I'm gonna take these and I have to pull them apart so that we only have one ply. And if it won't come apart very easy for you, then just put some tape on your fingers. I just happen to have some washi tape right here handy. And that should pull this apart. I may not have a big enough piece. Okay, let's get a bigger piece. There we go. We have lift off. Can save this for another project. And will the truck fit? It will just fit, won't it? Because I want these to be going horizontally, not vertically. Not that they couldn't go vertically. They could. Yeah, let's do one vertically because the truck is going this direction. So I will take my paintbrush and some water and go around the edge of where I want to pull this apart. So I want the truck. And let's try the words, but they may come off. We may not go with the words. There. Now this should pull apart rather easily for us. Let me just set that aside. We could keep the whole section, couldn't we? Now the colors underneath might bleed a little because they are distress inks. I'm not, I'm not um, fond of the red check down here. So I'm gonna take that off. That makes me happy. Now, if I turn this this way, what do we have? There's the top. You get the truck and the tree. We'll have to take off the home for holidays. Decisions, decisions, here we go again. We are going to leave it as it is and do it that way. Now for another one, I have this napkin. And I did tear that. I figured there would be more than one image on here. We have that separated and we're going to use this. Go around the outside edge and give that a tear. And that will go there like that. That'll be really cute. Put this aside. And then we have the camper. Okay, I'm going to get these all torn up and ready to go, and then I'll show you how I put them together. I'll be back. All right, I have my images all cut out, and I'm going to attach them with some soft matte gel. I'll have to use a soft brush for that. Hopefully, I won't tear my napkin. Let's get some of this off this one because it's just a little bit too big here. Cut some of this off. And then we can trim off the rest of that after it's it's on there. So I'm gonna cover it with 
my gel medium, trying not to overwork it. I will take my napkin and put it down where I want it and smooth it out being very, very careful because this rips so easy, as you can imagine, right? There, now there are some spots that I didn't get any glue, so I will go back over them. And then gently, ever so gently, I'm going to glue these down. You can leave a wrinkle here or there, and that looks pretty cool, actually. Once it's down it, you don't wanna have to try tearing it up because you're just gonna rip it. And then we'll let this dry and come back and we'll do another coat. Let's smooth some of my wrinkles out with my finger. Now the reason I would put on another coat is to help seal it into the paper and maybe reduce some of the visible lines of the napkin. There, there's that one. That looks pretty cool on there. And let's take our truck. Again, I'm still undecided. Do I want to go this way? I'll have to get rid of the words. Now we'll just go this way. Kind of eye up where I'm gonna put this. Here we go. How cute, 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 cute. I'm loving these. Then we have our wagon, and it's gonna go over in this corner. Okay, so there's that one. I'll let them dry and put a second coat on, and then I'll be back. I have the napkins all glued down onto my index cards. The next thing I want to do is edge around these index cards with my vintage photo ink. So I will get this done. All right, they are all inked up. Pretty undecided whether it needs anything more or whether we just let, let that be. I think for now I'm gonna let it be. I think. I think that's just enough. Sometimes simpler is better, and and I'm kind of just liking that. So I think I'm going to just leave it alone. Now, on the back side of these, well, it would actually be the front side, there were on the napkins some of these little images. This one had a dog. Let's see, there were dogs, and then there were trees. So I think I'm going to add one image to each of these on the front side. And do I want to put anything more on it? Some of our ink got on, on there, and, and that's okay with me. That's all right. So I think I'm just going to keep this simple, too, and just put a tree or a dog on that. So I am going to do that again with the same soft brush and soft matte gel. Do that and let that dry, and then I'll be back. Now I want to complete my tuck spots. I want to add a little bit of lace to them. A little bit of lace right along the bottom would be kind of nice. So I'll take my Fabric Fusion and I'll just run a stream of lace right along where I stitched and add the lace to the bottom. Normally I add it to the edges or just right on top. And today is a different kind of day for me, I guess. Now we'll add something here. I have my ephemera that I had, my digital ephemera. And let's see if there's something in this that speaks to us that that's what we want to put on there. So how about some hot apple cider in a mailbox? I think those would be pretty cute. Let's ink up around the edge of those. Let's get some paper underneath it. It's screaming green to me. It's screaming. There, just like that on that one. We have another piece of green floating around here. If not, we'll have to get some. Here's a piece of green. And I'm loving these labels. I like labels anyhow, and then to have them be Christmas labels, that's just awesome. I think they have to be red. The green was blending in too much with what we already had there. How about that one? And that one. All right, so we'll glue these down. I have my art glitter glue. And get it on all of these little edges that are peeking out with our cup of hot cider. And then our little label, that completes that side. Come over to the other side and we'll do the same thing. We'll just add our green paper down first with some art glitter glue. I think I'm gonna finish up this project here shortly and then we have another beautiful day and I'd like to take advantage of it as long as we have it because 
uh, not next week, but the week after, we're supposed to be only in the 40s and some rain and probably some snow flurries. And I won't be walking. I'm a fair weathered friend when it comes to walking and being out in the cold just does not interest me at all. So it will be time once that type of weather hits for me to start hibernating. There we go. Oh, I don't like it over there. I like it over here. Okay, so there we have our tuck spots. And this is what we have for our um, large index card. And then on the back, we have a tree, a tree or a puppy. And then these will... Sorry, but my video cut out here. I think the phone battery went dead on the phone. So anyhow, I just put my cards in the pockets and it's done. So I hope you enjoyed this project and come back and see us again soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.